Jesus. Please call it like Jacob prayed. God of Israel, I, dear God, I'm asking you, dear God, I'm pleading with you, dear God, Jesus. I want to be a blessing, dear God. I know, dear God, Jesus, that you have blessings. You are showering blessings. And I come with your holy word, dear God, Jesus, asking you, dear God, as I be blessed, I will bless my community. I know, dear God, that many families, many poor people, many territories, dear God, that need blessing. Oh, God of Israel, I'm asking you for supernatural favor. Oh, God, just like Jabez prayed in the name of Jesus, I come. I want you to bless me. Flow through me, dear God, all, all, dear God, those who are watching. Flow through me, that I can flow it to them, dear God, so they too can be blessed. I come in the name of Jesus, dear God, asking you, dear God, pleading with you, knocking, dear God, Jesus. I come in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus. Work it, dear God, Jesus. Work like the Holy Ghost. Work this blessing. This Holy Ghost blessing. It's time to pray. It's praying time, dear God. Just pray this prayer like Jesus prayed in First Chronicles 5, 4 and, and 10. Pray the prayer of Jesus and be blessed. Oh my God, Jesus, I'm asking the Lord Jesus, I work the supernatural power. Send your anointing, send your fire, send your Holy Ghost. So I can protect this blessing when I receive. I can protect the dead boy from the evil one. I know that God, Jesus, my God, your blessing is upon me. And I'm thanking you in advance. I'm thanking you, that God. The territorial blessing is coming for my community, for Cleveland, Bradley County, Paul County, and Athens in our area, our churches. Oh my God, our institutes and our schools in the name of Jesus. Call your blessing upon our community, dear Lord. Let us know that, God, we can receive it. In the name of Jesus, I come, dear God, knocking. I come pleading, asking in the name of Jesus. Bless, Lord Jesus. Bless indeed. Pour out, dear God, blessing. Oh, God, Jesus, and he bless our territory, dear God. Let your hands, let your hands be upon me, dear God, as I pour my hands upon others. And then you look at Jesus. I tell you, get some books that help you to know how to pray. In the name of Jesus, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think. God of Israel, you are just above all. He's a just God. He's a fair God. He's an honest God and he's God Almighty. He's the only God. Only God is Jesus Christ. God. Oh my God, Jesus, I pray all of those who have put purpose, your purpose. I said, God, Jesus, as I go to these parts and be joining their God, Jesus, in my path, you put people in my path. As I pass into their God, I can pull them. Lay hands in the body now. The blessing will be stored upon me. And what you will do that, God, Jesus, that joining. This joining is not just for me. This joining is for you too. You too can receive the blessings. Oh, my God, my God. I thank you, Holy Ghost. I thank you, Almighty God. Lord, I need you. I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour, I need you. Oh, my God, my God. How I need you. Psalm says every hour. In Matthew 7, 7, God always bless. Listen, God always bless. He bless for purpose. When he blesses for purpose. So the Lord wants you to be blessed and you can bless others. And give through the ministries of the gospel of the kingdom of God. God will bless you indeed. Oh God, oh God, oh God, I'm praying. You need to be praying. This is prayer time. Prayer on this call is time to pray. Oh my God, I love the Lord Jesus Christ with all my heart, with all my mind, with all my Son 
in the name of the Holy Spirit. He said, you know, I will be with you, baptizing them. He going to be with us, even to the end of the earth. Oh my God, you can see I'm talking with J.S. prayer, but I'm telling, I'm just letting the Lord have his way. The Lord have his way. God is having his way. Lord Jesus, my God, my God, mighty, mighty God, keep your hands. God, keep your hands upon me, upon my family, upon my church, upon my community, upon my TV station, upon my everything connected with me there. God, I come in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray indeed. Just how you, just how you bless Jesus. My God, in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, I'm so glad to know your word tell us that God, it tell us right here, not from a child, I've known the Holy Scripture, which is able to make us by unto saint, which is in Christ Jesus, 2 Timothy. Go in the Bible and get these scriptures. You'll be rooted and grounded. God will bless you. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Oh God, I give thanks to you. I praise your name. I glorify you. Oh my God, I thank you. I bless you as you bless me, therefore. I'm going to hallow your name. I'm going to lift you up. Your will be done, Lord, on earth, therefore, just as it is in heaven, Lord. Send us, there, God, the anointing and the power. Oh God, I thank you. I bless you, Lord. I know that pressings. Sometimes they say these prayers is unusual. But Lord, I'm so glad to know that, Lord Jesus, in your word, you tell us, Lord Jesus. Uh, and, and Bruce Wilkinson, he said, this is what he said. You know, he said, in prayer, in this prayer journal, he said, God, please help come. Okay? He said, God, please. He said, help me. Help me. And this is what I want you to do. To see what a lavish feast of your blessings will really look like in my life. And how it will change me for your glory. That's what it's all about. When God blesses, he's going to bless you. This is 2023 now. He's going to bless you. And when he gives you the blessing, just how Wilkinson said, use it for the glory of God. Let him lavish out. As he lavish out his blessing on you, you lavish out on the church, in the community, and help the poor, help the sick, get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh my God, Ephesians 3 and 20 tell us love. And this is what it says, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly. I saw that, my God, abundantly, oh glory, above all, above all that we can even ask or think. It's according to the power, Holy Ghost power that's working in us. That's the word of God, go in Ephesians 3 and 20 tell us. So Lord, I'm waiting here, I, I'm going to work it this year. I'm working my blessings coming down for my health, for my wealth, for my family, for my church, my community. I come in the name of Jesus. This word of God, I'm telling you, God's word will go forth and do what it says it's going to do. When God said it, he meant it. Everybody, God wants to be blessed. And you got to open your mouth and speak. Speak what you want. You want blessings. You want healing. You want deliverance. Oh, my God. Your mouth and speak the scripture. The scripture tells us everything is right in this book. So, Lord, I'm waking it. I'm waking it all my might, all my power in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, keep your hands, keep your hands, keep your hands upon me, Lord, and anointing and the presence of God and the Holy Ghost, Lord, anointing your glory as it follow me that I will impact others, Lord, what you put in me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. I feel God anointing. I feel just wave your hands to everyone and thank God. Thank God for this anointing. Lord, all your people who you assign. Lord Jesus, the agenda. Oh God, I'm following your instruction, God. I'm thanking you, God, that I can follow your word. I can hear your voice and I can know what you will say because you said, God said, there are many people. I'm telling now. There's a many people. Oh, glory to God, Jesus. Oh, they are looking for Jesus. They want Jesus, but they just want you. They need you to help them to find Jesus. Help them to find Jesus. Every time I talk to people, wherever I go, wherever I meet, in the library, the food store, where I go, I'm talking and letting them know. Something. Just talking. Just that conversation. Let them know. And then they will say something for you to introduce Jesus. Jesus wants to be the light of this world, and he wants you to help him. I know, Lord, that I, I, I'm just your servant, Lord. That's all I am. I'm your servant, Lord. I'm praying like Jabez now. I'm telling you, I, I, I study this book. You need to get the book, The Prayer of Jabez. I'm telling you. It will help you to know who God is and how he wants to bless you. How he wants to bless you. It says here, Lord, I, 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 and for them and the holy people unto the Lord God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And the Lord, the people unto him, this is Deuteronomy 
Deuteronomy, go to Deuteronomy 4 and 2. Deuteronomy 4 and 2. It says, I know I'm your servant. Okay? I'm your servant. Okay, Lord? And I know sometimes people think we're peculiar. That's what the Bible says. We're peculiar people. You know, we can be unique and different. There's no two alike. You say it in your word, Lord. For there are unholy people unto the Lord thy God. And the Lord has chosen thee to be peculiar people unto himself. Oh, glory, read the Bible. Let it help that God prepare us, that God to pray. Let us pray. Let us call upon the name of the Lord and fast. Put some fasting in there too. Put some fasting with those prayers. Because the Bible says some things come to prayer and fasting. If you pray for a big, big, uh, 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 um, 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 request some time, put some fasting in there. You want some miracles, put some fasting in there. I'm telling you, all oh, that you, Lord, will bless me indeed. I enlarge the territories in this t t television. That's the world. What a territory. Can't you know what? We want that God, our blessing to flourish and go out to the whole world. That God, Jesus, in 2 Thessalonians, go to 2 Thessalonians 3 and 3. But the Lord is faithful. He is faithful. He is faithful. I'm telling you, oh, God is faithful. I know from experience. He is faithful. He is faithful. Go to 2 Thessalonians 3 and 3. He is faithful and he will. He will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. See, that's what James, he prayed. He said, Lord, you know, go and go in 2 go and go in, 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 in 1 Chronicles 4. He said, in that prayer, uh, and Wilkinson said, this, Wilkinson said, you know, that was the main part of it. We have to ask God that you may you put your hands upon me. And he put his hands upon you. You got to ask God those evil ones. Those evil enemies. Those evil people. They're out there. Believe me. They are there. But you know what? Ask God to keep your, his hands on you from the evil one. Oh my God. I see that thing. I see that girl that I was studying. God will keep your enemies away from you. He will protect you. We have angels guiding on you. Come on now. Come on. Get this. God The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the, the God of, because he prayed the God of, when he was praying, he was saying the God of, 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 of Israel. But God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, he's God Almighty, he's God. Please hear my humble cry, Lord. Why am I going to stop passing? Lord, please ask God to pass you by. I'm here to let you know. You will sign. You listening. Where are you listening? Where are you doing? I pray to you already, just like Jesus prayed in John chapter 17. He prayed for believers. He prayed that you will come in, that you will accept him. You will say, Jesus, come into my heart. And that's when he will let you know. So if you don't know Jesus as a personal savior, I'm giving you an invitation. An invitation, just like Jabez. You can get this blessing coming down upon you. And the enemies, God will protect them. So just say, Jesus. Come into my heart, Lord. Say, wash me, Jesus. Take away my sins. And say, God, forgive me. Forgive me my sins. And say, Lord, I'm going to surrender. I'm going to surrender. I'm surrendering my life to you. I want you to be head of my life, head of my mind, my body, my spirit. Just talk to Jesus. Tell him. Tell him. Say, I love you, Jesus. And I know you love me. I say, lavish me with your love, Lord. Pour it out. Say, Jesus, that's all. And, and angels are rejoicing as you tell him. Because he forgave you, he because you asked him. He came into your heart. It just takes, just like that. Because you said it, you said it. You opened your mouth, what you say. You spoke it, you said, Lord, I surrender to you. Forgive me my sins, wash me, create me a cleaner. That's it. Welcome to the kingdom of God. And live right, talk right, read your Bible and get them. That's what it takes. God is able to do it just like Jacob. He's able to do all these things. In 2 Timothy 3 and 15, where God says, Oh, that I will love you. It says here, it says here, Oh, that I will love you. No, no, that's, some, that's not a scripture. Forgive me. Forgive me. I'll come back. I think that's um, that from a child that's known the Holy Scripture, which is able to make thee wise and do salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. That's it. I knew that scripture from a child. My God, my God, and you this, and, and, and you least how they train their children in the way they should go. My God, my parents train me. And I'm so glad that I train because it's my training that would get me here down today. The training of the parents.
parents train up a child in the way he should go, but it's all in not the from it. Because all the experience that you go through and all the hurts and the pain, just like Jesus, he went through some pain. Your pain is your gain. Your pain will take you in the arms of God to praise him, to worship him, to thank him, and be blessed in the name of Jesus. Oh, how I love my Jesus. Oh, how I love you, Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love you. Oh, I adore you. I magnify you. I glorify you. You are my all in all. You are my savior, my king, my deliverer. Oh, what a friend. You are a friend of mine, Lord. Oh, thank you for your protection. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, go and first of uh, uh, go in larger territory. Eyes have not seen. Eyes have not seen. First Corinthians 2 and nothing, I believe. Listen. You just came to Christ. Work it. Work it. Work it. Work it. Work it. Eyes have not seen, nor ears have not heard, or nor have entered the heart of man the things that God has prepared. For those that love that you just came and told Lord I love you, and you say, Lord, come in my heart, and you give God your heart, and you surrender. Hey, listen here. Go to First Chronicles 2 and 9. They see the things that God has for you. He got his arms around you. He protecting you. Oh my God. No, 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 no demons and everything. Now you read your Bible and pray. Tell you God is speaking. He is speaking even in Romans 8. Go to Romans 8, 16. And probably to seven him. He said, give us this in him. In the royalty of Christ. There's so much in this. And I only get so much time. I can't bring you all to this study. But you need to read. Read. Read the Bible. And read books with the help you on prayer. Because this is 2023. I heard even in the vision and other things I'm listening to. 2023 year is a kingdom building year. It's the God that lavish out upon you whatever your desire. If it's in God's purpose and in his will, you shall be seated. And I come right now, Lord, your people who need to be healed, those with cancer, those with disease and chronic disease. I come in the name of Jesus. Let them believe your word. Yeah, God, I stand you on your promises. Oh, God, I know your word will not be trying to be void because your word is true. They just got to believe and they got to trust and have faith in their prayer and believe God. It says the spirit himself bear with our spirit. It bear with our spirit that we are children of God and the children did heirs. Come on now. We heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Come on now. What Christ God is yours, you joint heir. You got to believe this for your wealth and for you to get on death for you to be debt free and for you to be healthy and for you to live a lavish, godly Christian life. You get to put your trust in God. Oh, I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Please, Lord, enlarge our health, our territory, everything we go. Our boundaries are protected. All our community, I pray that God, all those who are under the sound of my voice, wherever they're listening from, and those who can hear this later on YouTube, and you can get on Facebook, and you can hear on your WhatsApp, and wherever this gospel go, this is for you. But I pray you're ready to you that God will bless your territory. God will enlarge you. God will instill in you his kingdom work to do great things. Oh my God, my God, every level of faith that God, I come in the name of Jesus. I know that God, Jesus, you are taking me a ministry another level. I thank God in advance for taking my ministry to the world now. Worldwide, wherever I pray for this years ago, international, global, because I want to work for Jesus and I'm working for him and I want to make God proud. I want to hallow his name. I want to present him faultless. Lord, keep me holy and acceptable, Lord. Like, like to keep the evil one away from me so I can live presentable. My character, my attitude, my personality will stand up and shine for Jesus. Oh, God, God, my territory, God, my mind. Keep your hands upon me, Lord Jesus, and upon those that are listening and those who desire to go places with Jesus. Lord, touch me. Touch me. Touch my mind, my soul, my body, my spirit. Touch my family, their God, my home, my community. In the name of Jesus, no weapon. Oh, my God, Jesus, help me, Holy Ghost, right now. It says here that God, every level I go to, that God, God is going to enlarge the territory. Go to Isaiah 43 and 19 and 8. It says, Behold, oh, Jesus, hallelujah. God said, Behold. And I saw this from the inside. He said, I am doing a new thing. Go to the scripture. I know we have people talking about the scripture. Now, in, you know, we spring forward. 
the, the way that we spring back on the clock last week, but we spring it forward in Jesus. He said, do not proceed. Do you proceed? Sorry. But let me read that again. This is in Isaiah 43 and 19 and 8. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? Come on now, better believe it. Because something touched me. Oh, when I heard that, something touched me. Oh, the joy that flooded my soul. Something happened to me this week. Something happened to me just every day. Every day as I get a little sleep. Uh, uh, God, holiness and holy anointing. Every day, every day, every day. Fill my soul. Something happened. Oh, wonderful happened, Lord. I know he touched me. Thank him. Wave your hand. Thank him. Thank him. He's setting up. He is setting for great things. Thank God for experience. Even the past. Even those who didn't understand. Those who misunderstood. Don't worry about it. God knows. He's showed me some things. Believe God. All the things you've been to believe God and trust Him. That's to get you right now. Oh my God, my God, my God, sovereign God, Holy Ghost God, as we as we saw in the spirit, saw in the spirit. Now wait your hand. Let's just go in the spirit. Go in the spirit, the Holy Ghost, and ask the Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus. We are soaring to the sky. We are asking you that God let your Holy Spirit. Oh God, Jesus, my God, as we go in the spirit, that God, we are thanking you, God, as we becoming that God great. Great through you. Let him use you. Let him use you. Through you. You can be great for God. And God using his greatness in you. So you can be what God called you to be. And the main part to do, stay humble, say submissive. And listen to the voice of God. Listen to what he said. Because he's doing a new thing. You just heard it in the scripture. To bless you. Okay, listen here, biblical sense means to ask for supernatural, you need supernatural favor, supernatural healing, you need favor from God and God will do it. I got a few more minutes, I need to hurry. When we ask God a blessing, we are not asking for ourselves, we ask asking for our neighbors. And we ask for the home and the sickness and those who are lost. We are sincerely asking for kindness of God that only has the power. He's only has the power and we know before you even ask what you're going to do, so you better ask him. So it won't be a miss, it won't be something you just want to go to the party and say, no, listen, God wants you to bless others, okay? So pray on, honestly and pray believing. God knows the deep things in your heart, he knows everything. He's a great God. That's why we need to say the Lord's blessing is our greatest wealth. The blessing of the Lord, the blessing, all our work adds nothing to it, nothing. That's probably said. 22 B. Oh my God, God is reaching for your heart. He wants your heart. Okay? He want to bless that heart. He really do want to bless it. God is reaching for you. Jabez knew. He knew the truth of who God was. He did not tell God what he's going to give him. Listen. He let God decide what is his blessing. He said, what bless me be? He let God, what would be leaving us? Come on now. Okay? God wants to leave. Let God do the, 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 the. You just ask him to bless you and leave. Bless you indeed. He know the territory. He knows you need. He know your healing. He know the cancer. He knows tell it. He knows. He knows. But you all get what I'm saying. Don't don't. And let me read that. But y'all know what I'm saying. God wants to bless your territory for a purpose, so that you will enlarge others' territories. Okay? Yeah, you can speak because you know you got cancer. God know you got cancer. He know you got lupus. He know you got that that disease, whatever that is. He knows. He knows you need to pay that bill off. He know your monkeys need to be paid off. He knows. God knows what you pray for. He know your vision board and your goal. He know everything. You just got to pray and believe and trust him. When God goes to work, you have to listen. 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 In front and the seat, God will bless you with miracles. Oh, that your hands will be upon me, Lord. In Isaiah 43 and 19. See, I am doing, he said, I said it before. And this is what someone said. The purpose of all prayer is to find God's will and make that your will. In your prayer, that's what I'm talking about right now. Let it be God's will. When you want to be blessed, uh, and when you're telling God you will do this, let it be God's will. The secret of abundance in, 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 in Psalms 37 for delight yourself also in the Lord, and He should give you the desire of your heart. Okay, we want to one blessing. Yes, we want blessing. Like, ask God, my God, Lord, keep my hands upon you, Lord, Lord, keep me, humble me. Let God use these senses, be deserted with God and say in your heart. God will see you greatness, great things, community, all truth, and God will bless you indeed. Lord, I want to be a blessing to keep that God my face and your hands, that God. Keep me on my knees, Lord. Keep me, that God, that I would be a blessing, Lord. Please, Lord, as I 
I knock and I ask. Send the Holy Power, the Holy Ghost, that Lord, my request, Lord, is to please in you. Lord Jesus, I know. Bless you and keep you. Lord, make the face shine upon me. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen.